At the time of the breach, Uber paid hackers $100 oh, 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 to destroy the data and did not tell regulators or users that their information was stolen. Uber is trying to salvage its reputation following a number of high-profile controversies, including using software called Grayball to evade regulators, a court battle over allegedly stolen secrets from Google's self-driving car division, and a slew of complaints regarding sexual harassment and toxic company culture. Uber CEO Dara Khosrow Shahi said two hackers broke into the company in late 2016 and stole personal data, including phone numbers, email addresses, and names, of 57 million Uber users. Among those, the hackers stole 600 000 driver's license numbers of drivers for the company. Related, Uber paid hackers $100 000 after they stole data on 57 million users. Khosrow Shahi says hackers accessed the data through a third party cloud-based service. According to Bloomberg, they got into Uber's GitHub account, a site many engineers and companies use to store code and track projects. There, hackers found the username and password to access Uber user data stored in an Amazon server. Jeremiah Grossman, chief of security strategy at security firm Sending Loan, says this was not a sophisticated hack. Companies frequently accidentally keep credentials in source code that is uploaded to GitHub. He said, instead of alerting users and authorities to the breaches required by law, Uber paid the hackers $100. Oh, oh, oh. Uber says it obtained assurances the data was destroyed. Law enforcement advises companies to not pay hackers and report breaches to the authorities. According to Andrea Madwishan, professor of law and computer science at Northeastern University. If companies help cyber criminals make money off hacks, they will only continue. The problem with viewing this as some sort of simple risk management decision is that it underestimates the basis for an attacker's business model. Madwishan told CNN Tech, it doesn't address the underlying problem in your own organization, your security practices need revision and you're failing to adequately protect your assets including your own proprietary information and your customers data quote paying hackers to return data is common practice for instance it's expected ransomware payments paying hackers to unlock files after a cyber attack will top two billion dollars this year according to new research from